Hi guys, Canva and Visme are two tools that aim to make graphic design easy for known designers. But which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I will explain the main differences between Visme and Canva and will consider 8 criteria to see how these two tools suck up. I will leave a link below this video in which you can get a free account for Visme and Canva, so you can also try them out for yourselves, risk free. Canva and Visme are web-based design tools that lets you create impressive visual assets without needing a lot of graphic design experience. Both solutions can be used to create social media graphics, infographics, charts, sample videos, presentations, slides, posters, and other marketing material. And a wide range of templates and royalty-free images is provided to help make this process easy. So let's find out which one is better for you. For the interface and ease of use, both tools are very beginner friendly with simple and intuitive user interfaces that most people will have no problems adapting to. When you log into either Visme or Canva, you are presented with two main choices, the option to create a new design or to open an existing one. Once you have started working on a design, you will find that Visme and Canva have fairly similar interfaces. There is a main menu on the left that gives you access to each tool's key features. And your design work is carried out on the right hand side of the screen using drag and drop editor. The main menus in both platforms provide you with a similar range of options. There is however a slightly different approach in both tools regarding how you go about adding elements to your design. Canva places all its assets in one section, elements. You click on the tab and then search the section for the source of assets you would like to add. This can include any type of media graphics, photos, videos, etc. And in Visme, graphics, photos and multimedia are split out into three separate sections and you will need to go to the relevant one to locate assets for your design. So which interface is best is probably a matter of personal preference. If you are somebody who likes categorizes then Visme's user interface may appeal more. If you like less cluttered menus and using search bars to locate contents then you may prefer Canvas. And for the templates, templates are the starting points for any design in Visme and Canva, and both tools offer a wide range of them to choose from. However, with Canva you get access to a lot more of them, 250,000 on its free plan and 610,000 plus on its paid for plan. Visme gives you just under 10,000. Whether or not you need hundreds of thousands of templates is of course debatable. Sometimes too much choice can be a bit paralyzing. But some users will appreciate the bigger quantity of templates that Canva brings to the table. In terms of quality, it's hard to fault either Canva or Visme in this department. Both platforms' offerings are extremely varied and strong. And you should be able to use either platform's templates as a really professional starting point for a project. You can definitely find both business like and quirky templates in both platforms. And for the features, both Visme and Canva have a good selection of features, but Visme has a few more advanced features that can be helpful if you are looking to create more complex designs. For example, Visme has animation capabilities and can help you create interactive infographics. If you are looking for something simple, though Canva will probably have everything you need. And for the collaboration, both Canva and Visme have collaboration tools that enable you and your team members to create professional designs together. Bots provide essential collaboration features such as invite members to work on your design via email or a direct link and give them edits or view access. Adding or replying to your team's comments and tagging a particular member to gather feedback directly onto designs. Add members to a particular folder to easily organize your projects and teams and also sharing folders or adding a particular member into folders to easily organize your contents and teams. Bots offer real-time collaboration functionality, which means multiple people can work on a design at the same time from anywhere in the world. And for the platforms, both Canva and Visme differ from traditional graphic design software like Adobe Photoshop in that they are primarily designed to be used online in a web browser, rather than as desktop applications. That said, both solutions can be installed locally too. Canva exists as an app for both desktop and mobile devices. Mac, PC, Chromebook, iOS and Android apps are available. Visme is available in desktop versions for Mac and PC.
regardless of whether you use Visme and Canva in a browser or in an app. The key thing to remember is that you will need an internet connection to use them. All the design elements that can be used in your design are hosted on the web. And for the apps and integrations, like a lot of other products, Canva and Visme both offer a range of apps that add functionality or provide integrations with other popular services. The apps on offer from Canva are mainly to do with adding special effects to your images through touching them, but there are also some handy apps available for putting your images inside device frames or creating product mockups using them. The Canva integrations help you import images or videos from other apps into the tool. For example, you can connect your Canva account to services like Google Photos, YouTube, Facebook, and Google Maps and incorporate content from those into your designs. You can also connect Canva to productivity tools like Slack and OneDrive or email marketing tools like MailChimp and Constant Contact. There are also some apps and integrations available for Visme, but these are far fewer in number. And whereas the Canva apps provide a mix of additional features plus integrations with third-party tools, the Visme ones are really only about integrations and mainly to do with getting content in and out of other services tools like YouTube, Dropbox, Google Drive, etc. So when it comes to apps and integrations, the winner is Canva. And for the storage space, in addition to giving you access to online images and videos, Visme and Canva both let you upload your own assets to their platforms. However, Canva is much more generous in terms of the cloud storage space it gives you to do so. Even on its free version, you get a generous 5GB of free storage to use for your photos, videos, and audios. This rises to 1TB per user on a paid for plan. The Visme storage limits are measured by comparison. You get just 100MB on its free plan. On its Sims plan, which is the top plan here, the limit is just 25GB, which pairs in comparison to equivalent 1TB per user limits from Canva. And for the DC capture forms, Visme has an interesting feature that isn't available in Canva, a built-in tool for capturing data from people who view your shared on embedded Visme projects. This effectively lets you turn your Visme designs into a lead magnet. Visme and Canva also provide several integrations with third-party form tools for capturing form data. But doing so involves an additional cost, like joining just form or type form. Links in the description. And for the pricing, Canva has a free plan that gives you access to most of its features. You can upgrade to a paid plan for $13 per month or $120 per year. Only the Canva for Sims plan lets you add more than one user to your account. The Tim plan is flexible, so you can add and remove users. You will pay extra if you extend your teams. And by the way guys, depending on the country you live in, you will find the different prices because these prices vary from country to country due to tax. Go and check it out for yourselves, link in the description. With Visme, you can sign up for a free plan, but it's very limited, like 100 MB storage. If you want to access most of the features and more storage, you will need to sign up for the Pro plan, which costs $60 or let's say $59 per month or $24.75 per month if you pay annually as one payment of $297. So if you are looking for a snap judgment on pricing, it's obvious that Canva is considerably cheaper and its free plan is more functional too. So choosing between Visme versus Canva depends on your business and your needs. For most users, Canva is a better choice, but it comes down to your personal needs and budgets as well. My recommendation, if you need something quick and easy to use, go with Canva. If you are looking for more advanced features and don't mind spending a little bit of time getting familiar with the interface, go with Visme. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot. Thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out and bye bye.